Greetings everyone, this is Danny from hardtravel.com, your Royal Caribbean cruise experts. And today, I am so incredibly excited to share with you the beautiful, brand new icon of the seas. This incredible vessel is the largest ever built. There's so many firsts on board here, and it truly leans into Royal Caribbean's heritage and taking Royal Caribbean all the way into the next generation of cruise ships. Now, I can't wait to share all of this with you here in just a moment. We'll tour all the public spaces, and of course, we have all the rooms and suites on our channel as well. But before we get started, when you're ready to book your next room or suite with Royal Caribbean, Celebrity, or Silver Sea, make sure you reach out to the experts at Hard Travel. We know these spaces inside and out. We have an incredible relationship with Royal Caribbean, and we know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at the most amazing value, and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Now, the icon of the seas has been part of hard travel for the last seven years. In fact, we just got back in August from a shipyard tour of this ship. Didn't look anything like this then, but I'm so excited to share it with you now. And for me personally, my inner cruise nerd is so excited seeing all the unique things that they've done. Now we've started off right up here on cloud 17. So we're up on deck 17 and just below me, there's lots that you can see. So you can see down below where Central Park is, you've got the balconies and the infinite views. Just one up above, you've got those catamaran style nets, lots of lounge style spaces, and then stepping one up above from there, you're gonna see a ton of sun deck space. That's where you're gonna find quite a few of the cabanas. You'll have more cabanas all around the ship as well. A great way to enhance your experience. Now, if you look on the far side, you can see a couple layers of the lime and coconut. Don't forget, we'll take you there in just a minute. There's also a green slide back there where you can actually slide down a deck. I love that concept. You're gonna find whimsical fun like that all around the ship. Now, connecting all the way around, you're gonna find Royal Bay down below me. This is the largest pool ever built at sea. It's absolutely massive, and I love that in addition to the pool itself where you can step in, enjoy, and cool off, there's also plenty of spaces where you can sit in loungers with your toes in the water. Of course, they've got loungers further back, and that's something you're gonna find all around the ship. Where we are now, there's a ton of sun space. Right below us, there's a ton of shaded space as well. It's all about what you want, where you want, and how you want it on your vacation. Now, as we head forward on deck 17, you're gonna see some great art pieces up here. I love the way that they've installed these. In fact, the entire area feels sophisticated. That's something that you're gonna see throughout this ship. It's the most elevated decor that Royal has ever done. And you're gonna see that luxury woven in throughout. Now, initially, this space was designed as an adults only space. They switched it up on us. This is open to all passengers, and I actually really like that. I'm gonna take you over to the pool in just a minute, and we'll talk about that here, but I wanted to take you over to the hot tub first. So there is a massive hot tub here, and it actually is in the shape of a champagne glass. You can get a better view of that from the other side, but it's a great place to refresh yourself, enjoy, and once again, there are a ton of loungers wrapped all the way around. Now, right at the heart of the space, you're gonna find plenty of spots to cool down. Now, on this ship, you have more water than they've ever put on a cruise ship ever before. And one of those great pool options is right here. Now, what's unique about the design of this particular pool option is that you're gonna find that you can walk right down the steps and you can get that infinity edge view looking directly off the side of the ship. But of course, you can sit all the way around the sides and dip your toes in the water. What I've found already enjoying this ship is that you're gonna find different personalities with each and every single bar and area on board. This is actually harder to get to than a lot of places. It's not connected completely because the way Royal designed this ship was with an asymmetrical design. So there isn't an equivalent deck to this on the other side. That opens up those views that you saw earlier here. And what you're gonna find is people don't find this spot as quickly. So this is my favorite spot to go on boarding day. You've got all the loungers, they face down towards Central Park, they face out towards the ocean, but it's just a great place to cool off and relax. Now, speaking of relaxing to me, nothing says relaxing on vacation quite like a delicious cocktail. So we're gonna head over to one of my favorite bars at sea, and that is the Lime and Coconut. In fact, it looks like I might even have some friends over here at the Lime and Coconut. Of course, my dad's always got a drink in his hand. It's on vacation after all, so cheers, coach. Cheers. And well, 
Vince as well. You know that he's going to have one. Wait, where's the umbrella in the drink? Well, we'll get back to them in just a little bit. But this is just a perfect place to gather with friends and family. They're going to provide drink service all throughout the entire area here. And this is just the upper level of the Lyman Coconut. There's three levels of enjoyment, and we're going to drink our way through all three. Now, for those of you Jurassic Park fans, you might recognize my friend here. Though I think he actually looks a little bit more like Dino the Last Dinosaur. Hmm, that goes back a ways. Now, a brand new concept on board is the Swim and Tonic Bar. You're going to find that this is Royal's very first swim up bar at sea. It's a really awesome option there. Now, I've been trying to petition them to change it to the Danny and Tonic because we all know, well, that's what I like the most. But what I love about this particular setup is that you've got a large hot tub. You've got, the, of course, the bar stools in the water itself. And then you have all of the shallow area where you can sit, dip your toes in the water and enjoy a cocktail. Now all around it, you're gonna find more of those cabanas. Keep in mind, those do come at an additional cost. Now I'm coming to you right now from the deck of the Royal Loft Suite. Keep in mind, you can see that video on our YouTube channel. We've got all the rooms and suites for you to check out in addition to this ship tour. Now, if you're looking to upgrade your sun deck experience, you can definitely rent one of the cabanas. Now, there's quite a few of them here on board. They all have slightly different setups. They're pretty similar. You're gonna find here, you've got a large double day bed. You also have a chair, and then you have a cooler that turns into a cocktail table. I absolutely love that, those of you who know me. And a really great feature is you've got USB plugs on either side, and actually there's a European plug there. I always bring those extra adapters and converters so I can take advantage of all of them as well. So they're gonna put your name right here on the side, and then I did want to point out that this space is actually part of the cabana as well. When they first built the cabanas, there wasn't quite enough space inside to dine, relax, but you get both of these areas, which I think is a great touch. Now you guys know I'm all about safety, but I don't know about this, I kind of disagree. Now I wanted to introduce you to one of my great friends, Goose. He is always around, he's a great co-pilot, I'll tell you that. But the big important thing is he's the one in charge of all the towels. So don't forget to drop your towels off before you head back to the room. Or of course you can exchange them here to get a clean one anytime you'd like. See you later, bro. Now the middle level of the Lyman Coconut is the frozen bar. So you're gonna see they have a lot of delicious options to choose from. You've got mango, hurricane, watermelon, pina colada, strawberry and peach. You can go old school, do them all together, or you can try them one at a time. Now I did wanna point out that the casita check-ins on the far side there too. So if you wanna have that enhanced day, you're gonna stop by there. You might wanna pick up a drink on your way. All right. I've been talking to Royal for quite some time. They know my love for ice cream, and they know my love for slides, and they finally did it. You get to slide right on into sprinkles. So as we head over here, you guys all know that the most important part of a cruise ship, it's not the captain, it's not the rudder, it's not the engine, it's the soft serve ice cream. And here, we beautifully have six different options. Now Royal did call ahead and let them know I'm coming because nobody goes with a straight swirl, right? You do the triple swirl, let's try it out now. All right, there we go, one, two, three, and all right, let's wait for it. That's it. I'm going to need a minute by myself. Mm. Mm. And you guys all know nothing makes me melt like ice cream. Oh, we're going to have to pause the tour for a few hours. Now, one of the unique art installations here on board is the divers. So you see the person up there, one, two, three. Believe it or not, they actually modeled it right after me. And what you can't see is the cannonball down below. Now, there's a ton of complimentary options that you can take advantage of here on board. One of my favorites is ping pong. My wife and I played a lot on our first cruise together. Now, she and I and our kids play. And of course, it's always fun to have a little bit of competition with friends. So we got here. Mmm. Yep, pretty normal. Now I've mentioned that there's a lot of places to spread out and hang out as you step down one deck. You've got a ton of loungers here under the shade. So if you're someone who wants to stay out of the sun, but get that beautiful ocean view, maybe read a book, grab a drink, this is a wonderful spot for you. 
Now continuing along, you've got a great hot tub here. Kind of plays homage to those original hot tubs on Freedom Class and beyond that had the cantilevered hot tub off the side. I really love that they brought that back. And then you see another eclectic mix of furniture. So you've got these different styles of chairs, you've got booth style seating, and then on the far side, you've got lots of intimate places to sit back, relax, and hang out. Now we've already seen two stories of the Lime and Coconut Bar. I think it's time to check out the third now. As I mentioned, I love this concept because, well, I love to get a drink on vacation, I love the tropical colors, and I love the bartenders. They're the absolute best in the business, and hey look, another bar, look who I found. Cheers, Pops. Here we go. Cheers, Vince. I think it's time to have another one. Might need another break here. Ah. Refreshing. I am Royal. I don't know about you guys, but I'm feeling hot, hot, hot. I'm gonna stick with drinking, I'm way better at that. Yet another place to chill out here on the pool deck is the Cove Pool. You get that phenomenal experience as it cantilevers off the side of the ship. You can sit or stand over here, take advantage of those incredible views, and of course, the Lime and Coconut Bar is just a few steps away. You've got loungers wrapped all the way around. You can also sit in the loungers in the water itself, and they do have lifeguards on duty. Now, I always recommend you keep an eye on the kiddos. They're there for emergencies. It's your job to watch out for the kiddos and make sure that they're having a great time, you're having a great time and everybody's enjoying their time on board. Now on the port side of the ship opposite of the Royal Bay Pool you have this really cool area where you can hang out. I love the catamaran style nets. A little bit similar to what you have in the Ultimate Family Townhouse. Once again make sure you check that video tour out on our channel. And then you're also going to find some different styles of steps and swings. Lots of fun whimsical things to do. And I even really really love that swing over on the far side. And all these chairs actually overlook Central Park. Now it's important to understand that the icon of the seas is made up of unique neighborhoods that all have a different style of feel and a different purpose. Right now, we are in Chill Island. In fact, the entire area here with the Royal Bay Pool, the Cloud 17 up above, the Lime and Coconuts, the Cove, all of this is Chill Island here. It's the place where you can enjoy a little bit of water, a little bit of relaxation, and putting it all together, to me, it's the ultimate vacation experience. But for those who want something more active, of course, you got Thrill Island, Hideaway, you've got the Promenade, Central Park, Surfside Family, and so much more here on board. There's truly something for everyone. Ellie, it has been so long, but man, are you looking good. I'll fix that for you. Stay cool. Now, one of the fast, casual favorites Royal Caribbean has brought back, and that is El Loco Fresh. It's a huge hit on the other ships, and of course, why not? Mexican food is delicious. As someone from Southern California, I live on Mexican food just about every single day. They've got some delicious options with quesadillas, tacos, burritos, but it's all about the fresh tortillas. It's got the fresh tortilla maker right there in the middle, and of course, you can't have a good Mexican restaurant without chips and salsa and they've got a full salsa bar that you can use all the different accoutrements to make the exact experience you're looking for. But in addition to the salsa bar, they've got a real bar. Let's check that out next. Now, if you're a lover of margaritas, if you love tequila, mezcal, or quite frankly, any type of drink, this is a phenomenal bar. So you've got Cantina Fresca, and look, I've got some friends over here as well. I didn't know you guys were at this bar. Seems like you guys might be at every bar, but well, cheers. Cheers. Oh, it's Teresa, Pops, Vince, there we go. Delicious. Mm. Just thinking about that time in Greece where I barbecued and ate you. It was so good. So delicious. Now, when designing the ship, Royal did it differently than they've ever done before. They leaned into artificial intelligence, also quite a few different ways to move around the support system so you have lots of big open spaces. So you can kind of see the asymmetrical design from here, two stories high all the way up above, that's gonna be the Cloud 17. And then on the far side, you can see that there isn't an equivalent. So you get incredible views out from both sides. And then from right here, the Royal Bay Pool just behind me, you really get a great perspective of that. And one really cool thing is they even caught the end of summer vibes. In fact, that looks like my pool at the end of the summer every year. But anyway, pretty cool. I like it. All kinds of different art. Well, as we're continuing along, you know what? 
there's another bar. This is gonna be the ultimate ending of the uh, lime and coconut, so why not have another drink? You guys want one? I think it's lime and coconut 30. Cheers. Cheers. Just Teresa and Vince and uh, my dad, but you know what? Taylor's not been drinking. I, I think it's time for you to catch up just a little bit. There you go. Cheers, my friend. Nothing quite like a beautiful day on a pool deck on Royal Caribbean. Ooh, tasty. Well, I guess it's time to move on. We put the lime and the coconut. We mixed it all around. It was absolutely delicious, but apparently there's more to this ship. So as we say adieu to the lime and coconut bar, we're now transitioning into the Aqua Dome neighborhood. Now, as we do, you're gonna see there's more loungers out here, lots of lounge space to sit in as well. And then they're also gonna have a full complement of tables and chairs. So this is the outdoor seating area for the Aquadome Market, Royal Caribbean's first ever food house style concept. Let's check that out now. Holy crepe, they have some delicious offerings in here. This is the creme de la crepe. And what I love about that is you can have delicious dessert style crepes in here. I love the original with that lemon zest. I mean, it's hard to go wrong with salted caramel, Nutella. It's just a lot of happiness. And of course, you can customize it as you'd like. This is one of the several complimentary options that you're gonna find here in this specific space. I love the concept that Royals doubled down on, and there's quite a few other great ones as well. Let's see them all now. Now in the Aquadome Marketplace, along with all around the ship, you're gonna find complimentary beverage stations. There is a ton that's included with your Royal Caribbean fare whether it's the world-class entertainment in the Aquadome, the theater, or of course the ice skating rink, or all the food venues that are complimentary around the ship, including the Aquadome Marketplace. But you're gonna find these drinks at no additional cost. So right now, being that it's the afternoon, you've got different styles of things like apple juice, lemonade, iced tea, some pineapple juice in there, orange juice. And then for breakfast, they'll mix it up as well. And then you're gonna find a selection of teas, so you can always come and grab those, and then also drip coffee. Now keep in mind, there's plenty of places where you can upgrade around the ship, but you can also cruise with everything that's included and enjoy every moment of it. Excuse me, sir, you don't have your umbrella? All right. So another phenomenal option is ginger. So if you're feeling some Asian food, they have some delicious options here. Today you've got ginger beef with bell peppers, stirred fried vegetables, chicken teriyaki with snow peas, sweet and sour shrimp and pineapple. Thank you so much for that. Absolutely delicious. I'm gonna try it out now and get right back to you guys. Now with any delicious Chinese meal, you're gonna get a fortune cookie. Let's see what it says today. <gasps> Taylor, I'm gonna go on a cruise. This says, I see a cruise in your future. Hmm, they know me. Now, some of you may know my good friend, Mac. I know my kids certainly do, and I think every kid in the entire world does. This is an elevated version of what he usually puts out. So you're gonna find pepperoni pizza Mac, broccoli Mac, chili Mac, bacon Mac, classic Mac. What are you, classic Mac guy? Nice. Gonzalo's always a classic Mac, and he knows, so dig in. Now, I know my wife and I absolutely live for Mediterranean food. We spent a lot of time in Europe as students way back in the day. It's carried over ever since, and this is a phenomenal spot for that. Euro going to really love all that they have to offer. You pick the base, whether you want rice, lettuce, or pita. You stack up that delicious meat that's cooking over there in the far distance. Woo, I'm ready for some right now. And then, of course, falafel and hummus and all the happiness that is Mediterranean options. You've got some wonderful choices here. Once again, this is going to be open later into the night. It's a great way to supplement what you're dining on throughout your cruise. Now, finally, you have toast and garden. You can get a salad here. You can also get things on toast, so it makes a lot of sense. The watermelon feta salad, really absolutely delicious. Of course, several different styles of paninis, sandwiches, and salads. You can put all this together for an incredible meal. And don't forget, of course, they've got the bar service here as well. You can have all your favorite drinks delivered throughout the marketplace. Now, I did want to point out that you also have seating indoor on both sides. So you've got seating on the far side. There's more seats here, along with another beverage station. And right through that door is the actual Aquadome. I've been waiting to share this with you for a very long time. Let's check that out now. Now, when you first see Icon of the Seas from outside the ship, the first spot that you'll notice is the Aquadome. It's perched at the very top forward part of the ship, and it's a theater and the incredible overlook. Now behind me is the Aquadome Theater. Now aqua shows are not a new concept for Royal Caribbean. They debuted that for the entire industry, but this is very, very different. The entire ship has been built around this concept. 
just behind me, you're gonna find a pool. So that will actually head down, and the divers can dive from 70 feet from the very top up above there, all the way down. There's several more diving platforms, but this is a high-tech masterpiece. You're gonna find robots that put things together as part of the show. You're gonna have people flying through the air, of course, the divers jumping, they dance all around, and it's really innovative. The entire concept is, and once again, this was part from the very beginning of Icon designing it. Now, previous aqua theaters had been where Surfside is. Personally, I love what they've done. The boardwalk is not used as much during the day when you're sailing on the Oasis class ships. When we went out to Surfside multiple times, it was absolutely having a blast with all the kiddos out there and their parents. There's so much to do, and that can go from early in the morning until the evening. Now, this space is also used throughout the day and late into the evening as well. You can see the traditional theater style seating. They can use this for lots of different events. You can have the Ryan Bean bar connected, and then you have the overlook just in front. And one of the really cool features here is you can actually see the Aqua Show from Coastal Kitchen Restaurant. So if you're in one of the suites here on board, of course, check out our videos of all of them on the channel, but you can actually look in from the upper and lower area of Coastal Kitchen. And there's even some seating outside at Hooked Seafood. Just up above me, you can see the sound and tech booth. Once again, this is incredibly high tech. They can actually open up all of these panels here to test it out. They actually had panels going 24 seven for over a year where they were going open and shut just to make sure that they could hold up while at sea. Now, during the day, you get an immense amount of sunlight coming in from the dome itself. And later in the evening, the entire space transforms. You're gonna have world-class entertainment from the Aqua Show. They also have some wonderful shows for kids. Pirates and Mermaids is the one here on board. And as Mr. Weir, who's behind us right now said, it's about pirates and mermaids and kids are going to love it. So they have adult shows, they've got kids shows, something for every single member of the family. Everybody's gonna love this unique venue. Set looking over the Overlook and the Aqua Dome Theater, you're gonna find Rye and Bean. This is another great bar on board and it's also one of those transitional pieces. So it is a coffee bar. In the morning, you can get some delicious espresso drinks. Of course, you can also get a little alcohol in there as well if that's something you'd like. And then later in the evening, it becomes a bar that services both of these areas. You've got some great views up here as well if you love that coffee shop experience. You've got seating all along the overlook over there. And then you're also gonna find the ability to look out the front of the ship. Hey, look, we found some of our friends here as well. Cheers, everyone. Here you go. Cheers. Cheers. Go, Taylor. Mmm. Ooh, flowery and delicious. Mm-hmm. Mmm. Mm. I get to take it with me, too. Now, when I met the ship for the very first time in the shipyard, this was the space that really took my breath away. You've got floor to ceiling windows that are multiple stories high. They wrap all the way around and it's gonna be a space that you can use all throughout the day. So you've got comfortable seating looking out the front of the ship. You've got the chairs with ottomans. You've got these unique style chairs here that are more loungers. You've got wrap around lounge style seating, the bar just behind me. And then just up above, you're also gonna have the pods. But the concept here, just like around the ship, was they wanted to create spaces that you can use essentially 24 seven. So I see people here in the morning, especially on a sea day, reading, relaxing, maybe having a Bloody Mary to start the day. You've got the bar just behind me as well. And then as the day progresses, the space evolves as well. They'll do different styles of events in here, gatherings, and of course, if Hard Travel puts together a meeting or incentive for you, we can do that here and host it. But as it transitions into nighttime, you're gonna see glowing lights, and it's a really transformative experience. Now, one cool thing is you can actually essentially participate in the Aqua Theater show while you're here. So you'll have the music going and you can even have a little bit of a look through depending on where you are up above there. But it's an enormous amount of space that can be used by anybody. And once again, you're gonna see usage from day into night. And my favorite time is actually in the evening when this transforms into a bar and ultra lounge of sorts. Now, I mentioned that the Aqua Dome was a technological marvel. It's also an engineering marvel as well. This entire structure was built out in Turku, Finland. They lifted it up and they set it right on top of the ship. It's the largest freestanding dome ever put on a cruise ship. In fact, it's one of the largest in the world. And the entire space flows together. So you've got the bars, the restaurants, of course, the lounge space and the incredible theater. So now there's several places where you can lounge and relax. And I love these pods. They're set up above. You get incredible views as well. There's a couple of them. And then on this side, you're gonna find several different lounge style seating areas. 
From here, you can actually see what it looks like when the panels are open there. They do usually close them during the show. They can use them for projection and so much more. But during the day, they can open them up and let the light in. Now, one of the most delicious options on board is hooked seafood. If you are a seafood lover, you are gonna absolutely love this menu for quite a few reasons. Now, first and foremost, lobster. Do I need to say much more? Oysters? all kinds of deliciousness. Now for me, I love the messy fish sandwich. I really appreciate all of it that they have here. This is one of the delicious specialty restaurants here on board. Now you're gonna find that you can purchase a package for the specialty restaurants where you get multiple, even the unlimited. Of course, if you have star class, it's gonna be included for you, or you can just purchase one for a special occasion. You'll see there's a lot of seating in here. It's that classic Cape Cod style. So you've got booth style seating on the far side. You've got tables for two by the windows. Of course, with that classic aqua dome feel, you're gonna have tables for four and up to 10. And you even have seating right here at the bar. It's a great place to grab a drink before you enjoy your dinner. And one thing really unique about this Hook Seafood is you also have seating just outside where you can enjoy the aqua dome show as well. Now there's lots and lots of things that you can enjoy on this menu, but you probably wanna be a seafood lover if you stop by. And of course, always ask for the big bib. The messy fish sandwich, mwah, delicious. Now celebrating on a Royal Caribbean cruise is a phenomenal option. And here in Hook, they actually have a special celebration table. Now you can reserve the entire table. It's got a several different menu options that you can choose from. It does come at an additional cost, but if you're celebrating a milestone birthday or an anniversary, this is something you definitely wanna consider. Now here in the space, you do have separation from Hooked. It's all the way in the back of the restaurant. You have this long, beautiful table here where you can dine. Of course, you've got the chandelier up above, floor to ceiling windows as well. There's even an additional seating area in the far corner there. That could be the kids table. This is generally where they put me at Thanksgiving, but but this is really all about you. If you're looking for that special event, you wanna celebrate with friends or family, or maybe you put together that big corporate or incentive group that Hard Travel took care of for you, this is a wonderful way to celebrate. Now, if you wanna feel like royalty, you better stop by the Royal Bling Shop. Now, some of the most popular items with Royal have been jewelry for a long time, and they went all in. If you're looking for a diamond encrusted cup with the crown and anchor, you can get that here. They've got cufflinks, they've got necklaces, all kinds of different options to choose from. Now, some of them do get pretty pricey, but hey, this is the biggest ship in the world. And if you wanna go big time, make sure you check it out. Now, there's a couple ways that you can enter Thrill Island, but every single one of them is gonna give you that insane view. This truly is the first water park at sea, and you've got something for everyone. You're gonna see that green slide up there. That is the very first family slide at sea. That means you can fit up to four people on a raft. It's an absolute blast and it actually extends off the side of the ship. Purple slide is another raft slide. And then you'll see just behind me, you have several different options. Now, one of the coolest is the drop slide right there because as you drop, you've got acrylic. So it kind of looks like you're going straight on down and then you're gonna head through. Now, inside the slides, you've got several different features. I like when it lights up in there. You've got mat racers, you've got drop slides. You also have raft slides. It is absolutely phenomenal. Now, this was advertised and mega hyped and I gotta say, Royal Caribbean delivered. They also delivered on the entire neighborhood concept here. As soon as you walk in, you know you're in somewhat place different. And as you head forward on the ship into chill, it really does transition into a completely different concept. So up here, you're gonna find that you have the miniature golf course. You also have base camp, we'll take you over there in a second. Up and behind me, you're gonna find the Flow Rider Surf Simulator. Lots and lots of action. Now I wanted to point out those barrels right there. That's where you can leave your shoes as you head on up and enjoy the water slides. You've got Adirondack style chairs all around. You've got loungers tucked around that corner. You even have more loungers there as well. So you can sit, relax and hang out while your kiddos run through the water park. You can take advantage of Hideaway. You can take advantage of the base camp bar and some of the best bites on the ship. Now behind me, you'll find a Royal Caribbean fan favorite. This is the Flow Rider Surf Simulator. You can learn how to surf. Of course, if you know how to surf already, you can show some incredible tricks. You can use the boogie board as well, and it's perfect for every member of the family. Now, this debuted on the Freedom of the Seas. I was actually one of the very first passengers to ever use it. This one's pretty awesome as well, but the difference is from here, you get some amazing views. There's a seating area so you can watch your kiddos take advantage of this incredible feature. It is complimentary and incredibly popular. Now, one of the most anticipated attractions on the Icon is the Crown's Edge. You've all seen the Crown and Anchor on the side of the ship. In fact, you can see a Royal ship from miles away because of it. 
This is the biggest ever, and of course, they've added an incredible extreme adrenaline rush activity. Now, what you're gonna do is, of course, you need to sign up ahead of time. That does come at an additional cost. I gotta say, I've done it before. It's well, well worth it. You're gonna come up here, check in. You'll sign your waiver as you do with all the activities, and then you'll head in. They'll get you all suited up with the jumpsuit. Of course, you'll put on the harness, and then they'll show a video to talk about all the safety mechanisms. Now, of course, it is incredibly safe, but it's also incredibly fun. So after that, you're gonna head right up the stairs. You're gonna walk out. Now what's really cool is they actually have a camera that they attach to a pole. So that's gonna follow you throughout the entire way. You're gonna walk across, as my daughter calls it, the creaky bridge. You're gonna step a few steps, turn around, smile, say cheese, and take that picture that you can keep and take home with you. Now you'll continue around off the side of the ship. I'm not gonna lie, heights are not my favorite thing in the whole wide world, but it was so incredibly cool to do it before. And as we head back in here in a minute, I'm gonna do it again. Now, as you walk out, you are literally standing off the side of the ship. The ocean's down there. Directly below you is the water. You continue to step out. Once you see the Crown and Anchor logo on the floor, you know something's gonna happen. You hold on to the harness. I see the Crown and Anchor. But even though you're ready for it, that anticipation builds and builds. You drop off, fly around the side oh, of the yeah. ship. Hey, this is incredible. Oh my goodness. And head back up the ramp. Now it's an absolute blast. I highly recommend you check it out and enjoy. There we go. I jumped off the side of the cruise ship. Been waiting decades for that. Welcome to base camp. Now when you're climbing a mountain, going on an adventure, base camp is where you settle in, set up before you head out and enjoy the thrill. And that's exactly what this is as well. Now I love that Royals included dining and bar options in every neighborhood here on the ship. Now you're gonna see behind me, this is the base camp provisions. So they have some delicious complimentary grill options if you want hot dog, warm pretzels, tater tots, and who doesn't, to be honest with you. But they also have some great upgraded options as well. And one of my big surprises for a hit meal here is those incredible waffle chicken nuggets. It's a delicious Belgian waffle with chicken nuggets in between. You're also gonna have some cheese curd options, bao buns that are absolutely out of this world, the grilled chicken sandwich, and the smash burger. So if you wanna upgrade your day, you can, but if you want complimentary options, you can take advantage of those as well. Now, when we were here in the shipyard, they were describing this to us as the place where you can kind of set up home base. So I can imagine my wife and I sitting over here as the kiddos enjoyed the water slides and all the other spots. And of course, they have a full bar, and I love the fact that it wraps all the way around. Phenomenal bartenders, phenomenal cooks. This is your spot where you can enjoy thrill and have a little bit of refreshment. Now, nothing says the Caribbean like a little bit of rum. And of course, you gotta release the Kraken. Not the kind from Seattle either. Mm. Now this is Adrenaline Peak. Royals had incredible success with the rock climbing wall concept since it was very first introduced. Now I love this rock wall. There's several different options you can take advantage of. Of course it is complimentary. You can climb all the way to the top. I know my brother and I on the Freedom and Voyager class ships did that over and over and over again. Of course I always made it to the top first. He said it was because I was tall. I think it's just because I was good but you know brothers a eh, little bit of competition. Now what's really cool about this, you can see that purple line that goes all the way across there. If you don't wanna go all the way to the top, maybe heights are not your thing quite yet, you can actually do a bouldering session. It's actually pretty difficult as well, where you head all the way across, but of course there's several different skill levels that you can take advantage of, and it's just another one of those great complimentary options on board. Continuing that thrill concept, make sure you stop by deserted milkshake and ice cream bar it is absolutely delicious you're going to find a wide variety of options all your favorite toppings whether it's the gummies or the oreos they've got some delicious options for you now this does come at an additional cost but if you're looking to raise your dessert game this is a place you definitely want to check out they even have edible straws next up is miniature golf this is a complimentary feature here on board and for me royal caribbean and mini golf go way way back Almost 30 years I've enjoyed playing myself, and now my kiddos and I love to come up and enjoy as well. You can play just about any time of the day and night, and well, let's see what it's all about. Now just behind me you can see the uh, sunken ship just there, the submarine. It's really meant to be kind of like a deserted island concept. You even have the plane, which actually harkens back to the old days of Coco Cay. Those of you who were there almost 30 years ago know exactly what I'm talking about. But at its heart, it's just about family fun. Let's see what we got. Now, conservatively, you can go right around. But who wants to do that? 
Hmm. Mm, almost in the hole. No, actually that's over there. Let's give it another shot. Hey, a hole in two. It's a new record. Birdie, I'm gonna quit while I'm ahead. So now we're up on the sport court, and as you guys know, I talk about my dad all the time in the videos. This is Coach. He's been uh, coaching high school basketball for over 40 years, one of the winningest coaches in California history, and he's the one that made me come up and do free throw practice with my brother every single time. We had a blast playing for him. Of course, we had a blast cruising with him. Now, I gotta put it to the test. He's the one that coined the phrase, the bank's always open. So let's start with that free throw here. Let's see what we got today. Well, wow, pretty normal. You know, he was a big fan of Rick Barry back in the day, so let's see if we can do a little RB action. Nope. Well, you guys know what that means. It's time to check the bank. Is today a weekend? Might be a holiday. What do you think, Coach? Where should I shoot for? That corner right there. All right. Well, let's see. Let's see if the bank's open today. Corner of the square. Well, bank's closed. All right. Well, if I can't make it, let's see if Coach can. Of course, eh, just my luck. Now here on the sport court, there's lots of fun activities. You're gonna find that they have pickleball. They can set that up. They had a tournament earlier today. They'll play dodgeball, basketball, lots of fun games. And every once in a while, you'll see crew up here in the evening playing a little bit of football. Well, of course, with an icon of this ship being Lionel Messi, you gotta play some football up here, of course, especially while you're in Miami. Lots of fun, they even have a stands area over there, and I really love that they push the net all the way up, it's surrounded all around. Don't have to chase any basketballs, unlike at home. Let's see if I can channel my inner Steph Curry. Oh, yeah. eh, nothing but rim. Now, all the way in the aft of the ship, you will find the hideaway. Now this is one of the most highly anticipated spots to see and for good reason. Now this is the adults only part of the ship, just like you're gonna find the hideaway at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Keep in mind, you can check out our tour of the island as well, including the hideaway. It's an incredible spot there and it's an amazing spot here as well. You've got these tiered terraces there with the loungers. You can capture those incredible aft views, though for me personally, it's the day beds, these seating areas, and of course the bar on the other side. This being the adults only area, you can grab a drink, sit, grab a book, relax. I love my kids, but I also love when they're having a great time and I have a little time with my wife here at the hideaway. Now from here, you can see the hideaway pool. This was the most anticipated thing here on the ship when you first saw those renderings. It's unlike anything else in the industry. You have an infinity pool suspended over the Surfside family neighborhood. But I've seen so many people already grab their cameras, wait on out, and get that incredible Instagram shot. Now for me, the Hideaway Bar has quickly become my favorite bar on the ship. I love all the bars here, enjoyed quite a few of them so far. But to be able to sit in the aft of the ship, grab a drink, watch those amazing sunset views, and also having part of it covered, part of it out in the sun, it really is that perfect combination. Now from here, you can get another great view of the water slides. Once again, I love that concept that my kiddos can be going up and down those over and over again. And I can sit here, relax, and enjoy as well. Now, every time you enter the Windjammer Buffet, it means one thing, it's washy washy time. They've been keeping us entertained, smiling, because of course, that's important on a cruise ship. And uh, as I tell my children, who are pretty gross by the way, that uh, you need to do it every single day, many times a day, because it's just proper human hygiene. All right, so we washed our hands, we headed in, and now we're about to explore an incredibly large space. And of course, this is the casual dining option here on board breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. So we went in and we headed over to the port side first. Now it's pretty much redundant on both sides for breakfast each day. They'll open up all of this. It's actually the busiest at breakfast each and every single day, and they're gonna mix it up. So right here for breakfast, you'll have the French toast, eggs to order, pancakes, waffles, all of those different options. And then as you progress through the day, this remains a grill, but there are so many options for you to try. One of my favorites is they've got the pasta station, so you can get made to order pasta exactly as you like. As we talked about, there's charcuterie options, and then we get into the grill. They're just getting ready to set up for dinner service as we speak. Now I'm gonna do a really quick fast forward, and then I'm gonna take you to see a few other things, because you all know the most important part of any meal, especially a buffet, 
are the desserts. Now, Royal Caribbean has quite a few options for you to choose from. They do have a wide variety of gluten-free options. They also have no sugar added options for those who need them as well. But I'm gonna be going back for those cookies and that cake and that tart and that brownie. I'll be back for all of them in just a few minutes. Now, right here in the middle, and they're gonna rotate. So yesterday, this was an Italian station. Today, it's gonna be an American station. So you'll have ribs and kind of classic Americana. Each day, it's gonna rotate through. Once again, you'll have different food for breakfast, lunch, and dinner, and it remains a little bit later into the evening as well. So there's more dessert stations, just wanted to point that out. You got the full salad bar, more of the char charcuterie style. I do love that they've made these salads so you can make them to order. Basically grab it, just put some salad dressing on it, and it's ready to rock, or they'll customize as you'd like. They also have a wide variety of international flavors. The Indian food's been really good. I love Indian food. I've been checking that out throughout the entire cruise. Of course, you have all sorts of bakery options. And right when you walk in, if you go to the other side, you're gonna have the bakery there. And one of the things I love, in fact, I think it's absolutely genius, is you start there and as soon as you walk in, you get that fresh bread smell. And of course, it's intoxicating and delicious. Now, speaking of intoxicating and delicious, there is a full bar in here. And I also wanted to show you one of the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. Come with me for a second. Now, to me, customization is what makes vacation wonderful. Getting what you want, how you want it. And you can do that right here with the Coca-Cola freestyle machines. If you purchase the beverage package, the soda package, there's lots of options. All you have to do is put the cup holder here. There's an RFID chip in the bottom. It's gonna read that you purchased the package and then you can customize as you'd like. So if you want some Coca-Cola with cherry and vanilla and lime, you can do that. You can do lots of freaky options in here. Trust me, I've tried pretty much all of them. Now, speaking of freaky options, they also have some delicious concoctions here at the bar. Now, the bar is gonna provide bar service for the entire area. It does go all the way around, but my favorite thing to stop by here in the morning is for that fresh squeezed orange juice. Now, you can take advantage of your drink package, or of course, you could purchase it independently as well, but it's fresh, it's delicious, and it's a wonderful thing to start your day with. Now, there's lots of coffee machines around as well. You guys know Taylor loves coffee, I do as well, but this is just one of the many spots where you can get your coffee, or you can go to Starbucks, you can head to the Vitality Spa. There's so many different options. Now, speaking of seating, there is seating all the way around the wind jammer. So you have an enormous amount. You take advantage of those floor to ceiling windows, tables for two along the windows, four, six. They have high top tables, low top tables that are bigger as well. And there is just an enormous amount of space. I love what they've done with this wind jammer. The flow is amazing. You can go all the way around. And they've also put food stations towards the back. So today you've got different styles of fruits over there, hot dogs, hamburgers, it's another grill station. And you can imagine for breakfast, this is where you're gonna get eggs made to order and quite a few additional options as well. Now on boarding day, this is always one of the busier spots. My high recommendation is you consider all the options you have here on board. One of my favorites for boarding day is the park cafe. Usually people find that a little bit later, but if you're dining here anytime, I always head all the way to the back. There is a ton of seating back here. Usually people stop in the front, so you can find plenty of places to spread out. And of course, there's delicious options back here. There's a ton of redundancy, as I mentioned, on both sides, in the front and in the aft. Really? You found this bar too? Surely that's a good drink. Don't call me Shirley. My bad, my bad, seriously. Now, one of the spaces I was most excited to see here on board was the Grove. This is a true evolution of Royal Caribbean's concept here. It's the largest sun deck they've ever had by far. In fact, it's part of an entire sweet neighborhood. It's gonna encompass the Grove itself. You got a delicious restaurant and bar. Of course, you have Coastal Kitchen as well, where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner for all Sky and Star Class suites. Now, the Grove, as I mentioned, is an evolution. There's significantly more space up here, a wide diversity of seating options. Let's check it out now and start with the restaurant. Now, one of the great features of the Grove Sun Deck is you've got the Grove Restaurant. So you've got a full grill set up here. It's Mediterranean inspired. It's gonna be open from late in the morning until early in the evening each and every single day. So it's gonna enhance the full experience here on board. You've got a great variety of grab and go options. That watermelon feta salad is absolutely delicious, but they have quite a few different options, including the most important ones, the dessert. Now I've tried them all, they're all good, but I think I need to try them one more time just to make sure for you guys. And of course, don't forget the cookies. So if you want a snack while you're up on the sun deck, this is a wonderful spot for that. It's also a great place to grab a meal. I think it's gonna be a wonderful fit for lunch. And of course that complements Coastal Kitchen. Now the first thing that you're gonna really notice about this incredible space is the size. It's significantly bigger than anything Royal's ever done. You're gonna find a ton of loungers, 
You also have some great day bed options. You've got the hot tubs here. You're also gonna have a full pool on the far side as well. Now, as we complete our circle all the way around, you're gonna find a pool. Now, this is a first for Royal Caribbean, a true pool here. I love that you can sit down on the outside, put your toes in the water. Of course, you can get in the pool as well. And there's even more seating around here. I love these bird's nest style loungers over to the far side. There's more day beds wrapped around the corner as well. Now it's not just this, you've got an expansive amount of space down here, and then as we continue along, we'll be able to step up the stairway and you have an entire another deck up there. Now we just stepped up to the next level of the Grove, and to me this is what really is gonna set it apart, is an extraordinary amount of space to spread out. So you're gonna see more of the loungers here. You have quite a few of these setups, either for two or four, where you can grab a drink, sit and relax with friends. And then you also have more of the day beds wrapped all the way around. Once again, this is complimentary access for all guests that are in Sky Class or Star Class. So on this ship, they have a wide variety of incredible suites. We highly recommend that you check them all out on our channel, but there's some brand new ones that Royal has never offered before. I absolutely love the Sunset Corner Suite. Of course, the Ultimate Family Townhouse is an evolution of the Ultimate Family Suite, but there's lots of incredible options here and anything, like I said, that Star or Sky Class will get access. Now this is one of my favorite secret spots of the sweet sun deck area. So you're gonna see this diver getting ready to jump down into Central Park. There's actually several sculptures as you step your way down. One of the beautiful aspects of this ship for sure. But from here, you get some prime people watching. You're overlooking the swim and tonic bar. You've got the pool down there as well. You're gonna find that you have cloud 17 and lots of places that you can sit, relax and enjoy. Now, of course, every great pool and pool deck needs an incredible bar, and they have that here with the Grove. Some of the absolute best bartenders in the business is gonna keep you smiling, laughing, keep those drinks flowing, and in fact, they knew we were coming, so we already have drinks poured. Looks like we got quite the crew here at the bar. Cheers. Here you go, Coach. Cheers. Mr. Vince. Yeah. Cheers. Julia. Cheers. And then, of course, you can't forget the guy behind the camera. There we go, little mojito. Cheers to an incredible, sweet experience. Hmm. Yeah, I'll have another one, yeah. Mm. For the first time on board, Royal Caribbean has built a two-story coastal kitchen restaurant. It's a really expansive space and they're gonna combine several spaces in here, but some of the views are truly unique. So on the side, you're gonna have the bar. These are the best bartenders in the business. They're usually open from just before noon until later into the evening each and every day. So you can utilize that by grabbing a drink, enjoying the sweet lounge. So you've got the sweet lounge over to the side. There's more of the sweet lounge here. And then you've got Coastal Kitchen right in the middle. Now this is gonna be accessible for all guests that are in Sky or Star Class Suites. So you're gonna find a highly upgraded dining experience for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. It's really quite delicious, and this space is absolutely beautiful. Now you've got tables for two, four, of course they can accommodate larger groups as well. And tucked in the corner, you're gonna find a buffet that'll be open throughout the day and into the evening. So if you're looking for a continental breakfast or some light bites, appetizers, you can take advantage of that. They also have an espresso maker over there that you can utilize. But one of the things that I love about this space is the fact that it now overlooks the Aqua Dome. So from these seats right here and even up above as well, you can look into where the show is. They're actually just setting up and doing a little bit of practice right now, rehearsal if you will. But what's great about this space is it's significantly more expansive than they've ever built. Of course, matching the ship, it's absolutely beautiful. And it's a great diverse space that sweet guests can use throughout the cruise. Now we're headed into the beautiful Central Park neighborhood. It's open air with real live plants. When they first introduced this concept on Oasis of the Seas, it was truly revolutionary in the industry and with each vessel, they've taken it to another level. Now what I love about this is the serenity of walking through a park. That concept just doesn't exist on any other classes of cruise ships in the entire world. And for me, whether you're grabbing a bite to eat, a drink, it's such a wonderful environment. Now keep in mind, it is open to the skies up above, so they do have umbrellas here, just in case you need them. But the first stop is absolutely positively my favorite stop on any Royal Caribbean ship, and they've doubled down. It's a Zumi in the park. First, we're gonna check out Azumi Sushi and Hibachi. Let's check it out now. 
Now we've started off at my favorite spot. That is the sushi bar here. There's a wide variety for you to choose from. Sushi, sashimi, all kinds of different extras as well. Like my kids love the chicken karagi. And if you wanna see all that they have to offer here, you can check out our Danny Dines episode of me eating everything on the menu because that's what I do when I cruise with Royal Caribbean. This is the spot I come back to time and time again. My kids love it, my wife loves it, and I've made sure that all my friends and family love it as well. So you can sit right here at the sushi bar. That's one of the great options. In addition to that, there's a ton of seating wrapped all the way around. Now, what's unique about this is you've got seating inside, and of course you have seating outside in the park as well. Just let them know what your preference is. Now the hibachi table concept has been huge in the cruise industry for a long time, and Royal's gone all in with that as well. So instead of having just a couple tables, you're gonna find six tables. They have quite a bit of seating wrapped all the way around. And what my family and I love about this is it's dinner and entertainment. My kiddos can come, sing along to the songs. The chefs always have fun things that they're talking about with them. They keep them entertained. And of course, the entire production is just that. It's a show as they prepare your meals. So you're gonna have delicious options to choose from, whether it's vegetarian, seafood, or steak. You can pick the exact one for you. And something that I absolutely love is in addition to that, you can also order from the sushi menu while you're here at the teppanyaki tables. So there's truly something for every member of the family, whether you love fried rice, that delicious steak, the seafood, Woo! I'm getting excited already. Now we wanted to show you just a few of the offerings that they have here. Like I said, they have all your favorite rolls. Of course, they've got delicious sushi, amazing sashimi as well. But what I really appreciate about it is you can have a full Japanese style meal that doesn't include seafood. If one of your family members, that's not their thing. But it is my thing. Wanted to show you a few of those. And of course, you gotta wash it down with a great collection of sake and of Japanese beers. Now, when you're in Izumi, you never know who you're gonna run into. This is the man, the myth, the legend. This is Chef Travis. He introduced the Izumi concept, further develops it every single day. And well, he's here on board the inaugural and can't be happier to see you. Thank you so much for your work. Thank you, cheers guys. I hope to see you soon. You know you'll see me well, probably about 12 more times this week. Cheers. Thanks. Now, when I first saw the renderings for this ship, one of the things I was most excited about was a Zoomy in the park. You've got a to-go window now. Now, you'll notice something special in there. There's actually soft serve ice cream inside, but what they're gonna have is a limited menu that's absolutely delicious. You can grab it, eat outside, or take it anywhere you want on the ship. Now, you're gonna find a selection of rolls, sushi and sashimi. They also have the chicken karagi, which is great for my kiddos any day of the week. Now, as we head back outside, I'm gonna go across the way to the iconic Chops Grill. Now, those of you who know Royal, love Royal, love steak, Chops Grill is the place. You've got some great appetizers out here that they're sampling right now. Delicious crab cakes, pork belly, tuna tartare, all kinds of deliciousness. But something that's unique and brand new for Chops here on Icon are the new iconic cuts. You've got a unique tomahawk, a porterhouse, and then several different styles of Wagyu steak. You can really take the entire experience to another level. Let's head inside, but before we do, just wanted to point out the outdoor seating right here. You've got a great place to sit in the park. Now this is Royal Caribbean's original specialty dining restaurant. It's the delicious Chops Grill. If you love steaks, you're gonna love this concept. As soon as you walk in, you're greeted with some delicious cuts of steak. For me, it's always that juicy ribeye, absolutely tender and delicious, but they have a wide variety of seafood, steak options, vegetarian as well, and then you're gonna find some incredible sides, appetizers, soups, it really is delicious. Now this is one of the specialty restaurants here on board, which means it does come at an additional cost. There are several ways to purchase. You can do a la carte, you can do just one restaurant, or of course you can buy their multiple packages or the unlimited dining package for the entire cruise that you're here on board. The specialty is truly elevated, and what you'll see in here is they've elevated the entire experience. It's much more modern design. You also have dining outdoors. That's my personal favorite place to dine, because you get that Central Park atmosphere. But if you love a steakhouse, you're gonna love Chops Grill. Now, one of the great things about the Central Park is it does allow natural light down into the promenade. Now, that's not a new thing, but the way they've done it here is unique. I'm gonna show you as we head further down. Now first, we're gonna head to the bar, the trellis bar, of course. This is a delicious option here in Central Park, and hey, look who's here. It's Coach, Teresa, how's it going, guys? And you even got me a drink. Yes, sir. Cheers, let's do this thing. Cheers. Does this mean I get another break? Yeah, yeah, okay. Cheers. Mmm, Jen. Now, when you're in Central Park, you really never know who you'll run into, even the president of Royal Caribbean. All right. Cheers. Cheers. One of the things I love about this brand is having somebody at the top 
who started onboard ships. Believe it or not, my very first cruise in the 80s, this man was at the purser's desk. Look where he is now, and look what he's created. Cheers. And cheers. And look where we've come to. Yes, sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Now, Central Park really is beautiful. You have incredible sculptures just like this. And I wanted to point out the living wall. It actually exists on both sides and further down. But this park has well over 10,000 plants in it. It really enhances that full experience. And of course, as you walk through, getting the art does as well. Now, I wanted to point out the connectivity of this ship is truly revolutionary for Royal Caribbean. From here, you can actually head right down to where the Pearl is, head down into the promenade, and with escalators, you can head all the way down to deck two. So that was the revolutionary aspect of this ship when it was built, was the fact that you can actually go from deck two all the way up to deck eight. You don't even need to use the elevators. Now, there's a lot of great connectivity options that they've done. They use, of course, AI and all kinds of different studies to make sure that that is set for this incredible vessel. Now, as we continue along, there's lots of different seating areas here. So you see the bench style seating here, you see more plants, so you've got trees. Of course, you've got some beautiful orchids all around as well. And next up, we're getting to the Park Cafe. Now, before we head in, I just wanted to point out, this is the outdoor seating area. It's one of those delicious, fast, casual options that you're gonna find here on board. This is one of my favorites, and I oftentimes visit during boarding day, because a lot of people don't find it until a little bit further on. Now, let's check out the Park Cafe. <laughs> now, if you're looking for something quick that's already made, they have a lot of delicious options. You can come in and grab a wrap, a sandwich. They've got different fruits and vegetables as well. Now, the most important part we all know is the cookies. These are absolutely delicious and you can have as many as you want. Now, to complement the cookies, of course, you've got the dessert display. I'll be back for you a little bit later. Well, they've got sandwiches here as well. They've got a panini press. And of course, you gotta get the Kumovec. It's the perfect way to start a Royal Caribbean cruise. Some delicious beef, that delicious roll, and a lot of happiness included. Now, they also have a variety of made-to-order salads. You can pick your favorite ingredients, put them all together. Of course, they have some great proteins in here as well. So once again, it's kind of a, a sandwich and soup concept, but when you board the ship, this is one of the best places to go first, grab a quick bite to eat, step out into the park, and relax. Now, I did want to point out you have the complimentary drink stations in here as well, but here's my secret. My daughter and I come by all the time to get that chocolate milk. They've got the delicious Nestle kind in here, and of course, lemonade and iced tea and all the favorites. But for me and my little one, it's all about that chocolate milk or hot chocolate, depending on how you want to make it. Now, there's a ton of seating both indoors and outdoors here at the Park Cafe. And in addition to that, Right next door, you're gonna find bubbles. I don't know about you, but I love bubbles. Bubbles, bubbles. I love bubbles. I love drinks with bubbles. And hey, what better place to drink that than bubbles with the queen of champagne herself. Cheers, cheers, there we go. Mmm, uh, delicious. Nothing says celebration like a little bit of champagne. Next up is the Pearl. Now we're gonna see a lot more of it when we head down into the Royal Promenade, but I wanted to point it out from here because at its heart, it's actually an engineering architectural structure that supports the ship. Now, one of the things that they did with Icon was they wanted to create connectivity. We talked a little bit before about the escalators, all the stairways where you can connect between, but this connects you with the ocean. For the very first time from Central Park, you can see the ocean down there. And of course, when we get down to the Royal Promenade, you're also gonna be able to sit and see the ocean from the 1400 Lobby Bar and from lots of different areas. So once again, that is an architectural structure that holds up the ship. Now, as we continue along our stroll in the park, I love the fact that they've added these hanging orchids around. You have quite a bit more different examples of plant life in here as well. Now, if you're looking for a little bit of high-end retail therapy, you've got a huge selection of watches at Regalia in here. So you're gonna find some of the top brands in the business, Cartier and Breitling, you've got Hublot and so many more. But this is that place where you can take advantage of the duty-free prices. Maybe you wanna spoil your partner or just upgrade your watch collection. You can do that right here. Now, one more incredible option here in Central Park is Lou's Jazz and Blues. Now, they've had jazz in the park for quite some time. That's something that's not new to Royal Caribbean, but dedicating an entire venue to it here is phenomenal. Now, they've had jazz on floor before. There's nothing quite like this. Let's head inside and check it out now. Now, I have a ton of memories traveling with my family, my parents, and my kiddos, and enjoying the jazz on board Royal Caribbean. 
I absolutely love they've dedicated this entire venue to it. Of course, there's a full bar, there's high top seating, there's also low seating here, and then there's more seating outside as well. But at the heart is the stage. You're gonna listen to some world-class jazz and enjoy each and every single night. This beautiful space is the Empire Supper Club. It's the most anticipated dining venue Royal has ever put out, and you can see why, but it's much more than the beautiful aesthetics. You're gonna find a choreographed meal. It's a single seating each and every single night. You'll have a beautiful invitation delivered to the room, and when you arrive, you'll be seated, and all of the courses are paired with delicious cocktails, and they're paired with the music. So you're gonna find a bit of a dance of sort with the waiters as they serve you, as the music plays, of course, the incredible singers, the vocals were out of this world. And of course, this is just a stunning space. You've got the beautiful chandelier up above, the art piece just behind. You can imagine a Manhattan fine dining restaurant, and this truly delivers. You've got booth style seating over on the side. You're also gonna find tables for two and four. Now this is the highest in dining experience Royals ever put together. And you're gonna find that with the quality of the food. Whether it's that delicious Wagyu ribeye that's my favorite, the sea bass, the rabbit, the raviolo, they have a phenomenal options for you to choose from. It's all gonna be included in that cover charge, drinks, dinner, and true entertainment. It's really meant to be that incredible night out here on Icon. On deck eight, as you head aft, you're gonna find the Sunshine and Sundry shop. Now in here, you've got a lot of great options for every single member of the family in there. Maybe you left something at home or you wanna upgrade your clothing, your bathing suit line. They also have the goggles. I know my kiddos always use those in the pool. And of course, Surfside has an amazing pool and there's incredible pools all around the ship. Now I've talked a lot about connectivity for the different spots on the ship. One of the great ways to connect is by a slide. Let's check it out. Woo so I just slid into Surfside. Now Surfside is a brand new concept here with Royal Caribbean. And what it is, is a family neighborhood. This is the first time they've really done anything like this. And I, for one, love it. I've got two little kiddos right now and having an entire area dedicated to that age group to me is great for every single member of the family and of course every single person on board this incredible vessel. In here you're going to find a variety of arcades and eateries. There's even a specialty restaurant, bar and of course some soft serve ice cream. But this is dedicated to families. Generally kiddos 10 and under are going to get the most out of this. Let's check it out now. Now, just to enhance the connectivity of this space, you can access it from deck six down below with the stairway up. Deck seven right here, you can head right in from the elevator bank. And then of course, up on deck eight, you can head from Central Park all the way through and slide on in. Now, I do love that they've got my friend Frank here, the Flamingo, one of the mascots here on board and a good friend of mine. Gonna have some drinks later, buddy. Now, one of the great parts of cruising with kids is that they can have just about anything they want from a food aspect. We know kids are picky, their tastes change, and they've built Surfside Eatery specifically for that. Now, this is a family-focused eatery here on board, and being that it's in the Surfside neighborhood, it's a great thing. You can utilize all the spaces, whether it's Splash Away Bay or the arcade, and then you can come here for meals. It's open for breakfast, lunch, and dinner each and every single day. You've got great spaces outdoors here where you can sit. Let's head inside and check it out. Now, as we check out some of the options, I did mention that this is breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Right now is lunchtime. So you start off with some delicious salad options. That Waldorf is always good. Some great fruits. And then you're gonna find items that are aimed at adults and then items that are more aimed directly at kids. So here you've got some delicious taquitos, mashed potatoes, vegan meatloaf broccoli and snow peas, some different styles of pasta. But what I love is the ingenuity. Of course, kids always love chicken nuggets. Why not shape them like animals? You've got the fish fingers here, burgers, and then some unique options. Like for breakfast this morning, they actually had a breakfast sandwich and a hot dog bun. Right now, they've got a grilled cheese with a hot dog in the middle of it. In fact, I'll be back for you in just a minute. You've got some pizza options, fruits, and then of course, the most important part we all know is the dessert. Now, this is a special request from me that I made to Royal. I'm so happy that they fulfilled it. In addition to all the grab-and-go desserts, the cookies, all the happiness, you're also gonna have a soft serve ice cream machine. I think it's time for one now. Mm. Mm. There we go. And, of course, what's ice cream without sprinkles? Let's put a little on now. Mm. Yeah, I'm gonna need a minute. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. 
Mm. Now there's a ton of seating in here. You got tables for two and four. I love the surfboards that are going down the middle. They've got several for larger family groups as well. Once again, indoor outdoor seating focused on families. You can grab a quick bite, head back out and enjoy the fun. Now, if you have a sweet tooth like I do and you're looking for something very, very delicious, look no further than Sugar Beach. Now, it is the sweet shop here on board. They've got a wide variety of candies. Of course, they also have some delicious ice creams in there as well. You can load up, sweeten that sweet tooth, and of course, enjoy throughout your cruise. Now, carousels are not new to Royal Caribbean, but this is a totally different concept here. Once again, it's more aimed at the smaller kiddos. You see all the different mascots. And one of the cool things is they actually had the kiddos for people that work for Royal Caribbean help design this. I know my little ones are gonna ride time and time again. Now, one other thing I wanted to point out is, yes, there is a pool in the aft here. And because of that, you've got another towel station. In fact, oh, you two lovebirds are so sweet. They've been kissing for a really long time, kind of awkward. But I also wanted to point out that all pools here on board, and of course the Coco Cay as well, you're gonna be able to utilize the life jackets. You use those as you need for safety. Of course, parents are always in charge, but Royal does a great job with all the lifeguards around. Now, when I say fun for every member of the family, I really mean it. I get to catch up with my good friend, George the Giraffe. I haven't seen him in ages. And from here, of course, you get incredible views around Surfside. And well, sometimes with your kids, you just need a place to sit down and let them ride and ride and ride so dad can take a nap. Now all around Surfside, they'll have unique activities for families. My kiddos love to have their face painted. They do an incredible job. So this is just one of the many pop-ups they'll do here. And of course, you gotta keep your eye out for Admiral Awesome. We enjoyed his nighttime story down here. He'll be all around, once again, enhancing the family experience. Now they have a brand new design for Playscape here on board. Once again, it's aimed a little bit more at the younger kiddos. So you can see they've got small rock climbing walls. Of course, plenty of places for them to run around. And you even have a really cool net style behind. Now there's lots of wonderful places to play. This is just one of the many here on Surfside. Now when I visited the ship in the shipyard, this is actually where I slept. I was so excited for it. You've got Sprinkles Ice Cream, another great place for soft serve. And well, she saw me coming, so you know, I've got another 30 more today. Mmm. Speaking of delicious bites to eat, Surfside Bites is a brand new concept here as well. So it's grab and go, really quick, casual, kind of grill style. You can see they've got popcorn, sh chicken, hot dog, cheeseburger, pizza toasty, french fries. But I'm telling you, the secret here is the churro. Churro plus soft serve equals happiness. Now the Lemon Post Bar sits at the very aft of the ship, right next to Splash Away Bay. Royals pitching it as a mommy and me bar. I love that concept. Everything perfect for the kiddos, everything perfect for the adults. And look, I found some of my favorite adults here. And guess what? I might have found my favorite cruise ship drink of all time. It's the grown-up juice box. Swedish fish, a little gin, a lot of happiness, and it's portable. Cheers. cheers. I've never done a cheers with a plastic bag before. It was the first time for everything. Mm. Wow. Mm. Oh, I'm still going after that Swedish fish afterwards. Now, Splash Away Bay is a paradise for the younger kiddos. It's also perfect for the parents as well, as I've mentioned many times. If every member of the family is having a blast, you know it's going to be a perfect vacation experience. Now, all the way in the app, they've got a pool here. There's several different heights and they got plenty of places to hang out. But right in the middle is the place they're going to love the most. This is Splash Away Bay. you got the little water slides, the other water slides, of course, the large splash bucket up there as well. Now, this complements all of the thrill rides all the way at the top of the ship so you truly have something for every member of the family and i love that they have chairs wrapped all the way around where you can capture the best views on the ship looking directly out the aft now one thing i wanted to mention is the ultimate family townhouse does connect to the surfside family neighborhood you've got the stairway down a little private area here and if you're traveling with younger kiddos there is not a better location on the ship now keep in mind that we've got the video on our channel along with all the other rooms and suites now, I've said a lot of firsts here on board. This is yet again another brand new concept for Royal Caribbean. This is Pier 7. It's a specialty restaurant, so it does come at an additional cost. You could take advantage of that unlimited dining package if you get that. Of course, if you're in star class, you can enjoy it as well. But I really love this concept. It's a brunch concept, so you're going to find that you have brunch in here, and then you're also going to have delicious dinner options. 
Now it's kind of a California style fusion. There's some Asian options on there as well. Lots of deliciousness. You can see a few of the small bites here. The shrimp tostada was out of this world. And of course, my all time favorite, I love that seared ahi tuna, but I also love the Baja shrimp tacos and I really love all of it. Another delicious specialty option. Now the main arcade is gonna be right down here on Surfside, which makes sense because it's where the families will gather. Now you can see they've got different games like basketball. Uh, eh. I'm pretty good at that, eh, who knew? As we continue along, you've got air hockey, you've got a wide variety of different claw style games, and it's important to understand that these do come at an additional cost. You can set the budget for your kiddos on their card, make sure you have that conversation. But as you continue along, there truly are games for everyone. You've got a quad air hockey over here. You've got different styles of racing games. So this is where you can race quads. You've got drone racing. You're also gonna find that you have Super Mario Kart. I love that, I play it at home all the time. And they even have some classics with Donkey Kong over there. It makes me really happy. But this is where I really hang out the most. A Little bit of basketball. Eh, two for three, who knew? And of course, ski ball All your favorites right here. In order to create the perfect family vacation, you have to have something for everyone. And Adventure Ocean is the kids club here on board Royal Caribbean. I first started attending when I was a little guy. Now my kiddos love it. And it's really quite the exceptional option here on board. Now there's lots to do in there. We'll take you in in just a minute. Just wanted to point out right here, you've got Barnacle Briggs. It's a fun interactive game that uses the key cards. You can actually play around the ship. You've got one of the iPad check-ins here. Now it's really important to stop by on boarding day. They're gonna go over all the details for you. And of course, safety is paramount. So you're gonna be able to set up who can check in and check out the kiddos. Now for me, when I travel with my parents or close friends, we always add them on there. That way maybe my wife and I are having an incredible meal at Empire Supper Club. My dad can come down and pick my daughter up or my son up and head out and enjoy. Now there's several different segments in here. The first is AO Babies. This is gonna be six to 36 months. Let's head in now. Now AO Babies is for the littlest travelers here on board. This is for six months up to 36 months. Now keep in mind, depending on the itinerary, sometimes six is the minimum and sometimes it's 12 months to cruise on Royal Caribbean. Now in here, you see a baby room all the way up through the toddlers that can play around, lots of fun games. You got the entire wall over there where they'll pull those out. And then you see some more fun games on the far side. In fact, this looks kind of like my house right now at home. You've got the rocking chair there. You got the art station over to the other side. And then you also have a full sleep room. Now this is also drop off service. They'll actually change diapers, feed them. They're really quite incredible. I see the up a baby strollers in there. Sometimes to get the baby to sleep, you gotta rock back and forth. They've got the cribs and mobiles and all kinds of fun back there as well. Now Adventure Ocean Juniors is for the three to five year olds. You're gonna see all the different age appropriate toys and books. It's a really interactive experience. Now I do love that they segment the groups down in this sense, especially up to five years old. You can see the small art stations here. You've got the easels, all the fun magnets. You've got a whole wall of books here, the big Legos, and then lots of different toys. In fact, my son's got that at home and uses it all the time. Now this is the check-in spot here. So this is that spot every single time you pick them up or you drop them off, you're gonna come in and you're gonna get checked in. Once again, safety is paramount and they have some of the best counselors on the planet. They're here for the kids. They love what they do. They all have a background in child development and I know my kids absolutely love coming. Now, as we continue along, you see that they have restrooms in each specific space. This entire wall is full of all the different activities, whether it's coloring or making with my daughter's favorite, which was that pliable clay. There's lots of things that they're gonna do. Now over here is, well, quite frankly, the largest screen I've ever seen in a kids club or on a ship. They've got the movie zone over here, also fun interactive games. So they'll set up the bean bags and have a lot of fun. And then tucked in the corner, you've got a little playscape area. So there's a tiny rock climbing wall feature over here. You've got a little slide as well. And then tucked in the corner, you're also gonna have some more fun games on the wall. Once again, this is the three to five year olds here on board. Now we're inside the AO Theater. They're gonna do productions here for the kids. It's actually really quite incredible what they do. They can put on a full puppet show. There's different options as well that they'll take advantage of, but you're gonna find it very interactive. You can actually see bubble makers over to the side. They also can create a little bit of fog and steam. They've got all the lights, of course the projector up there because they can also use this for movies. 
Now all in the back, you're gonna see bench style seating. They've got all the little styles of seats for the kiddos as well. They're gonna rotate it based on age group, but this is just another wonderful fun activity here in Venture Ocean. Next up is the Hangout. Now this is the six to 12 year olds on board. And I do appreciate that they've actually put those groups together. Now the idea is kind of more of a kids get to choose concept. If your kid's left brain, right brain, they've got the perfect option for them. Now, as soon as you walk in, you're gonna have the video game stations. It's always going, lots of fun. They absolutely love it. I know my daughter loves that. Got video game stations on the other side and they even have their own jukebox where the kids can pick the music. Now, as we continue along, you've got a movie zone here. You can see they've got these so they can configure them several different ways in a large flat panel TV. Over on the side, you've got a nook here where you can do a little bit of arts and crafts and hanging out. And it's also a perfect place to watch the movies as well. Now tucked in the corner, I love these interactive tables. So all you gotta do is tap on those. You can play a wide variety of games and puzzles. It's a lot of fun. They even have these in the Ultimate Family Townhouse if you wanna check that out. There's not a better family accommodation out there. Now as we head into the arena, this is for the kids that are looking for activity. So you've got more of the Barnacle Briggs along the wall here. You can play that interactive game. Of course, they can compete to see who can get the highest score. But this is really all about the action. So on the far side here, you can see they can play a game of football. Very appropriate with Lionel Messi being the icon of the icon, if you will. But they have lots of fun games. My daughter loves to play Gaga Ball in here. They'll set up bowling and hula hoops and really all kinds of different options. So you can see here, they've got another floor set up as a sport court of sorts. You've got water stations right around the corner there, little cubby so they can take their shoes off while they're playing certain games. And then all around, you're gonna find these cupboards that have all the different activities for them. Each and every single night when we picked up my daughter, she'd come back with a different arts or crafts thing because that's really what it's all about. My little nephew, this is his spot. He's gonna be all over the place. Now, one of the things I also appreciate about having this 6 to 12 is siblings can travel together, cousins can travel together, and it really does enhance the experience. On the far side, you're gonna find a foosball table. Once again, this is all about the action. Next up is the creative spot. Now we're inside the workshop. Now this is a creative space. I love that they have these light tables. They've got lots of different configurations that they can set up, whether the kids wanna create an art project, do some coloring. Sometimes they'll even do a little bit of science in here. So the whole concept of Adventure Ocean and this specific age group is to allow the kids to do whatever resonates with them so they can have an incredible time. Playmakers Sports Bar is the best sports bar at sea. You're gonna find 60 plus televisions in here. You've got a wide variety of all your favorite drinks. And of course they have delicious bites to eat as well. Now for me, I absolutely love to come in in a social environment to watch a big game. We're lucky enough here on board this cruise, the NFL playoffs are happening, but I've seen the NC2A tournament, we've seen the NBA playoffs, and of course the finals. So many incredible events, and it's just a better energy when you're together with friends, family, and of course, making new ones. Now there's a lot to do in here. Of course, you've got all the TVs, as I've mentioned. In addition, you've got foosball. You do have skee-ball and basketball, so you've got some upgrade options, but you have plenty of complimentaries as well. Here you'll find pool. You also have Pac-Man and Donkey Kong. Those are the old school versions of the games, and I played a lot of them already on board. Speaking of gathering together with friends, of course, Coach is here once again. I don't know how he keeps finding these bars and the Queen of Champagne, and of course, the great Vince. Let's toast. Mm. Gotta say, go Lakers. Mm. Now behind me, you can see the bar, of course. Once again, some of the best bartenders in the entire industry, making all your favorites. Lots of delicious beers on tap. Now you see that they have a jersey from Messi. He is the godfather or icon of this ship, of course. And he and I have a lot in common. He is the goat, and I'm also the goat, but at eating messy foods. I don't know, I think I'm pretty good at it, gotta say. Now as we continue along, you're gonna find that you have shuffleboard over here, you've got air hockey, Mario Kart in the corner, you've got pool, and then I wanted to point out the owner's box. So speaking of gathering together for the big game, you can actually rent out the owner's box for a couple hours at a time or for a full game. You can imagine this is that perfect place for the Super Bowl or any of the incredible games. So make sure as soon as you get on board, you grab that if you're interested. It does come at an additional cost. Now ice skating shows and Royal Caribbean go all the way back to the Voyager of the Seas. It's always entertaining and this venue is spectacular. Even though the name is absolute zero, it is an absolute 10 in my book. We watched the show last night. I was absolutely blown away. It's incredibly high tech. 
Now, Starburst is all about the beginning of time, atoms and evolving and putting everything together. I gotta say, the cast is impeccable. And of course, all the effects that they can utilize with a venue like this truly took the entire experience to another level. Because it's an oval, they're actually able to do tricks that they simply couldn't do on the square or rectangular style rinks. And what you're gonna find is Royal hires the best. They're actually one of the largest employers of ex-Olympic athletes in the world. Of course, amazing, amazing people here. Now what you're gonna see is complete seating all the way around. So there's not really a bad seat in the house. You've got the stage style area up in the front, but they can come out from each and every single angle. And they'll use this for lots of different events. So they can use this for the adults only scavenger hunt. Those of you guys who've experienced that know exactly what that's all about. They also use this for laser tag, lots and lots of different things. Now you're gonna find that this venue is totally different than what you found on a Royal ship before, and you're gonna absolutely love it. Now we're checking out Social Zero 20. Now this is the teen club here on board. And as a middle school teacher for over a decade, I know that this is the hardest audience to appease. And what I love is they've given them an enormous amount of space and lots of fun activities to do. So this is gonna be for 13 to 17 year olds here on board. Once again, there's plenty of space to hang out on the entrance. You're gonna have those beanbag section there. You're also gonna have quite a few of these different video game studios. I love that they have them separated out. Lots of different games to choose from. That's always a blast. And then there's lots of different lounge space. They'll reconfigure things constantly so that they have different activities here in there for them. And one of the things I really love is these little nooks. We all know that teenagers love to lounge. They can hang out, sit, relax. They put in USB and USB-C chargers in there. They have their own jukebox that they can choose from. And one of the cool things is it's got directional sound, so it goes right down. And then of course you can listen to different things. Now, as we head further in, you're gonna find a really cool photo opportunity here. You've got several more lounge spaces. You've got foosball, several different types. You even have the fun interactive table games. Now you can actually find these in the Ultimate Family Townhouse, believe it or not. It's been a favorite for us for quite a while, but all you have to do is press the button and you can choose from a wide variety of games. It's great for the young and the young at heart. Now, Royals continued their partnership with Park West, so if you're interested in purchasing art on board, they're very informative, they know the ins and outs, and you can get a great deal compared to what you can get on land. Now, continuing along, you're gonna find 6th and Main. So this is just outside Playmakers. You're gonna find some different style of Royal logo wear. They've got sunglasses, lots of items that you can take advantage of that duty-free pricing. But these are some brand new things that I've never seen from Royal before, and I absolutely love that. Now, the Royal Promenade debuted 25 years ago. I can't believe it's been that long. I've enjoyed all the promenades on all the ships that have had them, but this is truly exceptional. One of the biggest differences, there's no promenade view rooms, which means you can walk all the way around the top and all the way through the bottom. In fact, the ship is connected from the Royal Theater all the way back to the main dining room, and then up top, you go from the crown all the way back to where you can get to absolute zero. Even though there's so many differences here, the biggest and most substantial one is the Pearl right here behind me. Now, this is truly all about the architecture and the engineering of the ship itself. Now, Royal Caribbean wanted to have the ability to have massive floor to ceiling windows on either side, letting light into the promenade. And also you can see the ocean from Central Park. So what the Pearl really does is it gives you a staggering view as soon as you walk in and board the ship. It's absolutely beautiful, but it really holds the ship up so that you can have all of this amazing natural light. Now the Pearl itself is also aesthetically beautiful. You see the bed style seating all the way up. Of course, it's a stairway that connects up to the Pearl Cafe. But what you're gonna see in here is thousand plus independent panels that are all moving with the music. You've got the beautiful light up top there as well. And so you can imagine entering this ship for the very first time, walking onto this stunning promenade, heading up through the Pearl, and knowing that you've arrived to something truly iconic. Welcome to Boleros. This is the Latin theme nightclub here on board. You're gonna love this, just like all Royal guests do on pretty much every Royal Caribbean ship. Bolero's Latin theme nightclub is a lot of fun. You know if you've danced the flamenco, salsa, or just gotten down to any music in South or Central America, you're having an absolute blast. Now you've got a huge dance floor here, you've got lounge style seating, you've got seating that extends overlooking the promenade down below, and you've got seating all along the back. 
court. It is a bar. They've got a large bar that wraps all the way around. And this is where you can head up, enjoy some incredible Latin theme music, and dance the night away. Hey, look, Coach made it all the way down the promenade as well. Is that your classic rum and coke? Absolutely. Cheers, Danny. What better in the Caribbean? Now, as I often say, have you even been on a Royal Caribbean cruise if you haven't been to the Schooner Bar? Because this is a Royal Caribbean staple. Right at the heart is the piano. The pianist on board here is absolutely crushing it. It's taken the request, played some incredible sets here. And I love the Schooner Bar for so many reasons. There's a lot of nostalgia in here for me, but of course it's that classic nautical theme bar taking back to the old days of schooners here in the Caribbean. Now there's quite a bit of seating and it also extends out to the promenade itself. So you've got seats overlooking the promenade, you've got tables for two and four, you've got booth style seating wrapped all the way around the corner, and of course, you're gonna have some of the best bartenders on the ship right here in the schooner bar. Lots of places spread out, and it's a great place to sing along with all your favorites with your friends. Now, if you love Italian food, and let's be real, who doesn't love Italian food? You're gonna really enjoy Giovanni's Italian Kitchen. Now this is a wonderful and delicious Italian restaurant. You've got a bar there that wraps all the way around. You also have bar style seating that looks over at the Royal Promenade. Right here you can see some of the booth style seating. You got tables for two and four. And then actually overlooks the 1400 bar down below and you get those incredible ocean views as well. Whatever your favorite pastas are, they're sure to have them here. And I love that they have a pizza oven as well. So you can utilize this as the wine bar concept where you can get some light bites. Of course, this is a specialty restaurant, so it does come at an additional cost, or you can sit down and have an entire meal here. This is one of the most popular options for good reason. Now up at the Pearl Cafe, you have an area that really doesn't exist previously on Royal Caribbean ships. You've got the massive floor to ceiling windows up here. You've got the incredible whale sculpture and a ton of seating checking out those beautiful ocean views. And right to the side is the Pearl Cafe. Very similar to the Cafe Promenade they've had on previous ships, you'll find it a bit more elevated. Now I did want to point out that you've got a coffee bar here, so you get all those same Starbucks coffee drinks. You've got a delicious array of desserts. For lunch right now, they've got, looks like mushroom and uh, birria. That looks really good, I'll be back for that. Pulled barbecue chicken. And then you've got some grab and go options here with sandwiches and different types of salad and vegetables. Now they can make all those drinks and food and you can enjoy them right here in the Pearl Cafe. And the other thing that I wanted to point out is you can actually access both forward and aft from the Pearl Cafe. It's one of the great features here of the promenade. Now just behind me is where you have the staircase that heads up to Central Park. Once again, it's all connected together. Now with no boardwalk on this ship, I was a little afraid I was gonna miss out on my good friend Zoltar. Don't worry, he's back, he's here to tell your fortune and it's always gonna be great. And most of the time. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Danny. What's the dentist's favorite time? Tooth hurdy. You know you're gonna get lots of great jokes like that during the day and late at night, this turns into an adult comedy venue. You're gonna have some amazing shows in here. I love comedy and Royal has the best on board. You're gonna find quite a bit of seating. You've got booth style seating on the far side all the way around the back. You've got more seating tucked in the corner, lounge style, a little bit more on the far side as well. And then you've got a couple screens. Now you can use this venue for different gatherings, meetings and things like that. They'll use it during the day, but at night, this is the comedy club on board. Hey bro, you want me to help you up? I gotcha. Actually, this is just one of the many art installations that you have on the promenade and all around the ship. They've got a couple really cool squirrels over there as well. You gotta pay attention because there's art all throughout the hallways, all around the entryways, and they even have some of the most incredible art in the elevator banks. Now, one really cool thing, you got a manhole cover right behind. It's paying tribute to Royal Caribbean, so established in 1968. And it says Fane, that's referring to Mr. Richard Fane, who is the current chairman of the board, former CEO and president of Royal Group. And then you've got Jason Liberty, who is also currently that position. Mr. Michael Bailey started on ships working a long time ago and now is the president. And then you also have Kulavara, who is the Finnish naval architect, who's the VP of design. So lots of tributes around, and I love that they've got the crown and anchor even on the helmet. Now, I love dueling pianos. For me, it's one of my favorite styles of entertainment. It's super interactive, it's high energy, it's a lot of fun, and you get to listen to your favorite songs with your friends. Now, dueling pianos is not a new concept for Royal Caribbean. I used to love listening to them on Monarch of the Seas way back when, but this is the first time they've done a fully dedicated venue. 
So as we head inside, I did want to point out that the bar goes on both sides. So as you step in, you can see the bar right here behind me, and right in the front on the stage are those two beautiful red pianos. We were rocking and singing the night away last night and the night before, and I'm pretty sure I'll be doing it tonight as well. There's quite a bit of seating in here. You've got booth style seating, high top tables, tables for two and four, and then you also have the bar seating. When I came up here for the first time, there was a ton of people lined up outside, standing at the bar watching, people at the bar here with the seats turned around, and then you've got more seating on the far side. Once again, it's a great thing to do in the evening to come, request your favorite songs, and listen along. Now I, for one, have a lot of clothing, mugs, cups with this logo on it, and you're gonna love what they have here on Icon. This is the logo wear shop. It's right here on the promenade. You can get all your favorite jackets and t-shirts, ship models, mugs, all kinds of different options. They've really expanded the offerings here on Icon. Now also located on the promenade, you're gonna find two additional spots. The first that I'll point out is the Loyalty Ambassador. So Royal has one of the best loyalty programs in the entire cruise industry. You also have some reciprocity follow over with celebrity, but this is where you can ask all the questions about that. In addition, you're also gonna find the next cruise desk. Now Royal knows that you're gonna have an incredible time on your cruise and you can take advantage of specials and promotions that you can only get here on board. Now, as your travel advisor, since you booked the cruise with us, as soon as you book it here, whether it's an open cruise that you choose later, or if you pick the exact cruise you want, we're gonna be able to take great care and service it throughout. Now, if you didn't book with us the first time, let us know before you head to your cruise, we can get you all the details so you can take advantage of the great deals on board. And of course, have our incredible advisors and the hard travel team take great care of you from start to finish to make sure you get the very most value for your cruise money. Now you may already know Rover, but did you know Spot right here? Well, he's a real pisser. Now just behind me is the guest services desk. You can think about this as kind of like the hotel lobby desk. This is where you can have any questions about your room, your account, all of those details. Now I always recommend that you stop by during the cruise, the first day and the last day. It can get a bit busy as people ask questions or settle up their bills. Now something I've noticed on this cruise, they've got a lot of people roaming around here with iPads, trying to answer your questions and fix anything you need even before you get in line. Now keep in mind, if you are in one of the suites, so that's Sky Class or Star Class, you're also gonna be able to get all of these services in the Coastal Kitchen Suite Lounge area. They're your concierges and they can take care of all those details for you. Now behind me, you'll find Port Merchants. This is another one of those stops where you can take advantage of the duty-free pricing. Most of what you'll find in here is alcohol and tobacco, which carry some of the heaviest tariffs and fees on land. You're also gonna find sundries in there. I accidentally left my razor at home. So, well, I got one in here because I had to keep looking spiffy for you guys. Now, as we continue along, you've got restrooms on either side. And then we're finally gonna find Pavilion on Five. You can check out some incredible watches and jewelry options that they have here, once again, at duty-free prices. Now, a lot of guests, including myself, love to stock up on our favorite items while we're here on board to take advantage of those duty-free prices. So here at Solera Beauty, you've got all kinds of different cosmetics and perfumes, oftentimes less expensive than on shore because you don't have to pay the duty when they're out in international waters. Now they have a partnership with Effie. There's a ton of different jewelry options on board, but if you wanna spoil your partner, raise your jewelry game, this is a great spot for that. Everyone loves a pub experience. It's where you gather together with friends, listen to good music, and the point in Feather is no exception. You've got the music right there. So they had an incredible guitar player who was singing last night. I really enjoyed it. You've got tables for two and four. You also have booth style seating, and there's even a dartboard around the corner. What would a British pub be without one? Now you've got the full bar here. And what I really like about this particular one is it's much more open. On a lot of the Royal ships, you kind of have to go through and it's a little more intimate. So you do have that towards the back. But as we head forward, you can see it opens right to the promenade area. In fact, hey, they knew I was coming. Got a martini ready. Hey, coach. Hey, Dan. Cheers. Cheers. Mmm, Jen. Mmm. Mmm. -hmm. Delicious. Set just behind the pearl, you're gonna find my favorite secret seating area here on the promenade. It's nice and intimate. Of course, the pearl does block out a lot of the noise coming in, so you've got lounge style seating here, and there's also seating outside as well. Now, one of the things I wanted to point out is they don't have a traditional photo shop here on board like they've had on every single ship previous to this. And there's a great reason why. You're gonna be able to now access all the photos that they take from you directly through the Royal Caribbean app. Just another reason why you wanna download the app before you arrive here on board. 
Now we have lots of information on that. You can also watch a video how to check in for your Royal Caribbean cruise. We've got all that on the Hard Travel channel and our advisors and team will guide you through the entire process. Now, if you do have any questions about the photography, this is where you'll stop by. There'll be somebody here, they can answer those. And then you'll also have the same with shore excursions. They have some pop-ups that they can put with iPads, but you always wanna pre-book your shore excursions. They can and will sell out, especially those at Perfect Day at Coco Cay. Also set on the promenade is the 1400 Lobby Bar. Another new concept for Royal, and 1400 actually comes from the ship designation, from the ship yard. I love that concept of tying it all in. And of course, this is where you're gonna get those fancy mixology drinks. These the bartenders are some of the best in the business. They'll do a little bit of flair, make just about anything that you want. It's also a great place to have indoor and outdoor drinks and be connected to the promenade itself. In fact, hey look, it's one of my favorites here at the bar. And even though they can make fancy drinks, I'm still going with my martini. Right, coach? That's right. There we go. Cheers. Cheers to you. Mmm, another iconic drink. Now, I did want to point something out. Underneath the bar here, you're going to have USB and USB-C chargers, and you're going to find that at all the bars around the ship. Most of them also have purse hooks as well. A really nice addition. Set just next to the 1400 Lobby Bar, you're gonna find escalators. This is all part of that increased flow where you can go from deck two all the way through the escalator bank up here. Now you notice they have the green lights on and the red lights on the other side. One's going up, one's going down. But when they first start to disembark, they'll put them all facing down. And then of course, at the end of the day, when you're heading back from a perfect day like today, they'll turn them all up so it just increases the flow even more. Now on the promenade, once again, you're gonna find a Starbucks. Now this is exactly like your Starbucks at home. So if you start your day with a delicious coffee, you can do that right here. In fact, they have some really cool retail. They've got those Icon of the Seas mugs. You better believe I'm gonna have one in my collection, but you got delicious treats that you can get here and all of your favorite Frappuccinos, Cappuccinos, Americanos, lattes, espresso, whatever it is that you love from Starbucks, you can get it right here on board. Also on the promenade, you'll find Spotlight Karaoke. This is where you can belt out all your favorite tunes, become an instant hero to the crowd, or break everybody's eardrums. It's really up to you. I tend to do the latter. Now in here, there's quite a bit of space. You've got high top bar style seating. You're also gonna have lounge style seating, tables for two and four, and then of course the stage right in the middle. There's a ton of screens in here, so of course they can use it for karaoke. They use it for trivia. They actually use it for a lot of different events. You've got the full bar as well, so you can have a drink, which may be a must before you get up on stage. Behind me, you'll find the collection. This is my wife's favorite shop here on board. You can find secondhand handbags. Now, honestly, I didn't know that they gained money as they went, but apparently they can keep value. At least my wife says that, just like baseball cards and fine wine. Along the promenade, you'll find quite a few pop-up style shops. So this is one of them. Yesterday, they were selling the ship models. That's a must for me on every ship. Lots of different icon memorabilia here, but they'll set up all kinds of different shops in the promenade, whether it's t-shirts, jewelry, maybe a little bit of alcohol, whatever it is that they're selling. This is a great place for you to do a little bit of window shopping or purchase as you'd like. Now, great complimentary dining option from late in the morning all the way through early in the morning, really, is Sorrento's Pizzeria. Everybody loves pizza, whether it's for lunch, dinner, or once again, after you enjoy some incredible nighttime options here on board. Now, as we head inside, you've got quite a bit of seating out here. You got some picnic style seating. You got tables for two and four. And then as we head inside, one of the things you'll notice, it's a little different than the last couple ships from Royal Caribbean. This is just pizza. So they don't have the antipasti, but they also have a lot more options on here. So they're making the pizzas over here. They've got the classic cheese, pepperoni, carnivore, lots of delicious options, and they'll rotate throughout the time you're here on board. Now, in addition, you can also get a beer here. You got the Coca-Cola Freestyle machines, but this is all about the ZA, and you're gonna love it. Now, Royal Caribbean has been known to be the best in entertainment in the industry for a long time, and this is one of those places where that happens. This is the Royal Theater here on board. Believe it or not, the theater's a little bit smaller than on their previous vessels, but that's allowed them to open up the stage. It's quite a bit bigger. You're also gonna have the band on either side there. Now, we saw Wizard of Oz last night, and it is truly a spectacle. The costumes, the set design, the music, and of course, the singing was out of this world. They did an amazing job, and that's what you expect from Royal Caribbean. 
Now, this is the theater where you'll be able to see Wizard of Oz. They'll also bring on guest entertainers and have a wide variety of entertainment in here. It's all stadium style seating. So you can see down below, there's a lot of seating there. You've got some seating as you head back up and then it gets a little bit steeper. And right now we're up on deck five, just above that, where you can get some more balcony seating. Sat right here for the Wizard of Oz. I thought it was actually perfect because you could see the entire stage there, actors, the musicians, everybody did an amazing job. Can't wait for you to see it. For those about to rock, we salute you and this is where we do it. This is the music hall. It's been a huge hit since it was introduced on Quantum of the Seas. And you can probably know why if you've ever been to one of them. But this is their biggest and as far as I'm concerned, best. If you see the SVT fridge and the Marshall full stack, you know that you're gonna have some incredible rock music happening. And our favorite Royal Caribbean band blew our minds once again, and that was Phoenix. They're amazing, we actually see them in Vegas all the time as well. But this is the dance floor that I'm standing on right now. You've got the stage behind me, and there's a ton of seating wrapped all the way around. You've got a bar down below, you've got a bar up above, and then you also have quite a bit of seating up there where you can get some incredible views and be a little bit further away from the action. You've got booth style seating in the back. You're gonna have more booth style seating wrapped all the way around, tables for two and four, and like all the venues on board, they can reconfigure this for lots of different options. We've used this venue for private meetings and things along those lines, but really at its heart, it's an incredible place to watch and listen to music. Now to me, nothing says vacation like a little bit of spa time. It's time to pamper yourself, whether you're looking for a manicure, pedicure, or all the different massages and facial options, they've got you covered here at the Vitality Spa. Now I highly recommend that you stop by on boarding day. This is where they're gonna have all the answers for you. You can tour the spa, and of course, if you haven't already booked your spa treatments, they can get you set. Oftentimes you'll find better deals on port days. They can get you some discounts there. And of course, if you're a Crown and Anchor member, you might have some great discounts built in as well. Now, if you're looking for some true renewal, you may wanna check out the IV therapy options that they have here on board. Now, this is not a new concept. People like firefighters and military and athletes have been using IVs for years to get vitamins, rehydration, things along those lines. But you can now do it here on board the ship. I love that concept. They have several different to choose from depending on what you're looking for. But something really cool on this ship is in addition to these rooms, you can also get that while you're getting a pedicure, a hair treatment, or several different spa options. Just beyond Renew, you're gonna find the barber shop. So this is where the gents can pamper themselves. You can combine a haircut with a shave. You can also get a facial. I did all of those together. My wife got it for me for Father's Day not that long ago. And I really love being pampered. Walked out feeling pretty pretty. Now you're also gonna find a full salon concept here on board in combination with a dry bar. So maybe you wanna get done up to head out and enjoy one of the incredible venues for dining or dancing. You can do that right here at the dry bar, or of course you can get a revolutionary new hairstyle. You can also get take advantage of all the different options they have with their partnership with Keristis from Paris. So there's a couple hair wash stations here, haircut stations on the far side. This is where you can get manicures and that's where you can get pedicures. All the way back at boot camp, I remember them telling me to take great care of my feet because, well, when you're touring anywhere in the world, that makes a huge difference. So you can come here, take advantage of a pedicure, even big enough for my size 15 feet. And I gotta say, I do love to be pampered. Now, as soon as you check in, you'll head down the stairs. Now, keep in mind, they do have an elevator option if you have that need. And then you'll have the second check-in desk. They're gonna take you right over to the relaxation room and then into your treatment room. In the relaxation room, they're gonna to talk to you about all the things that you like and don't like, have you fill out a little bit of paperwork so the therapist gets to know you, so you can have the perfect treatment just for you. Now we're just inside one of the treatment rooms here in the spa. As I mentioned, you can get a wide variety of massages. For me personally, I go between the hot stones or the deep tissue. After traveling a long way to get to a destination, I always go with that deep tissue first. But it's all about relaxation and rejuvenation. You've got a wide variety of wraps and facials. They've got a full Medi Spa experience here and well as well, in addition to some specialty options. But this is one of those classic treatment rooms. You know as soon as you leave, you're gonna be so relaxed, you're gonna to wanna to come back and do it again. Now, speaking of specialty treatments, this is a first for Royal Caribbean. It's a quartz bed. So the idea is that you become grounded. You actually lay on here and the quartz kind of sinks in around you. Now they've got some sound therapy that I add here as well. Now, once again, whatever you like, you're sure to find it here at the Vitality Spa. 
Now here on board, they do have a thermal suite option that you can purchase passes to. You'll find sauna, you've got an incredible hammam, steam room, and several experienced showers, along with my favorite, these hot stone loungers. I've had back problems for years sitting here. They're nice and ergonomic, heated from the bottom, and to me, it's a really great option. Now, just inside the door to the Vitality Spa, you're gonna find the Vitality Cafe. So they've got lots of delicious juice options here. You can take advantage of your beverage package or purchase them a la carte. I love the fresh squeezed orange juice. In fact, I love all these options here. They can also make some delicious smoothies. They even have some alcohol options. The Bellini is absolutely delicious. And something else that I really, really like is oftentimes they'll have some snacks here. So one secret, you can get coffees here just like you can at Starbucks and all around the ship. So that's not the only place to start your day. Get a juice and a coffee, you're gonna really appreciate it. Hmm, take a little bit of recovery there, huh? What you got in there? Some beets, some celery, some orange. Some, some electrolytes. Yeah. yeah, electrolytes. <laughs> Enjoy. Thank you. Now, as you would expect on the world's largest cruise ship, it's got the largest jogging and walking track at sea. So you can come down, get your laps in, you get that fresh ocean air on either side. Now this is also how you're gonna access the fitness center. It's a little bit different than previous vessels. So you come out to the jogging track, head all the way forward and you'll find it. Now from here, I just wanted to point out these lifeboats. So they're absolutely massive. They can hold up to 450 passengers. And I love the way that they've tucked them in here so it doesn't really stop any of the views from the rooms, from the public areas. I think they really designed it well. Now also out here, you're gonna find some space where you can sit and relax. So you've got lounge style seating up on the side. And then of course, when you access the ship from the very first time, you're gonna head directly in and you'll see the pearl and the floor to ceiling windows. Now this was a huge, huge design thing here. You've got floor to ceiling windows looking out at the ocean. They've never had that before on a Royal Promenade. Of course, this was a huge engineering feat to make it happen. But this is a place that's usually really quiet. It's just outside. You can step out, enjoy your drink here and the beautiful ocean views. All the way forward on deck five, you'll find the fitness center. Now there's a ton of aerobic equipment here. You've got the treadmills facing out to take advantage of the ocean views, stair steppers, ellipticals. There's rowing machines just behind me as well. And then more ellipticals to the side. Now, as we head into the fitness center proper, on the very far side, you're gonna find more of that aerobic equipment. And right in the middle, you'll find all the circuit equipment and free weights. So right here, you've got different styles of leg presses, all kinds of things for the lower body. As we continue through on this side, you're gonna find more upper body. They have a wide variety of equipment here. Just in the middle, you've got your Smith machine, pulley machines, lots of different options, and they actually have a wide variety of free weights as well. Now you can do personal training sessions. You can come down here and utilize it anytime you'd like as well. Once again, a fully comprehensive fitness center here on board. There's two ways to access the fitness center. You can go from the deck six elevator bank forward and down the stairs, or you can head down to deck five. You'll go on the jogging track and come out and you'll enter right here behind me. Now, in addition to all the equipment, they also have different styles of mats, medicine balls, ropes. They really have it all here. You can find the motion studio from the deck six elevator bank just behind. And then as we head in, the first stop is the aerobics room. Now I like that you have access to all this equipment that you can utilize throughout the cruise. Of course, they will have classes in here. You definitely wanna sign up on the first day. Some of the classes do come at an additional cost. But what I appreciate about it is you've got the mats, so you can do yoga in here. You got the steps, all kinds of different balance exercises. And I love the foam rollers. I use it at home all the time. After a nice long flight to arrive, it's a great way to stretch out and relax. Just behind me, you have a few more different styles of weights as well. Now, a great way to get some aerobic exercise is a spin class. So you can do that here. It's one of those classes I mentioned you need to sign up for. You've got the instructor right up here. They've got all the different size shoes. They've got the two large screens on either side and the large speakers. I love that concept of having a little bit of competition with exercise. Now, cruising and dining go hand in hand. And the main dining room is where most guests are gonna eat most of their meals. So they have breakfast and lunch here on most days. You'll have dinner every single day. And it's that classic a la carte option. They'll have lots of delicious options that you can choose from right here on board. Now you're gonna have a perfect opportunity to try new things. One of my favorite things about cruising is I found some of my favorite dishes right here in the main dining room. Now you'll find quite a few options on the menu that are complimentary. They have a few upgrades. Maybe you wanna dine with one of the delicious steaks from Chop's Grill. You can do that here as well. 
Now it's a three-story dining room. Now Royal's been known for their incredible architecture in the dining rooms for quite some time. I love the beautiful sculpture behind me, the massive chandelier up above, and from here you can get a glimpse of all three decks. Now, depending on the cruise, this is generally used for my time dining. You have the set dining on the upper two decks as well, but you'll see that right on your CPASS card. Now, make sure you let us know if you're looking for a small table or a big table when you book. We can put that right in the reservation for you. But once again, this is that complimentary a la carte dining option. Now, something you'll find on all Royal Caribbean ships is the Casino Royale. Now, they've got a really cool entrance here on this one. You can see the ribs up above. And then as soon as you head on in, you can see what it's all about. They're gonna have a ton of options in here. You've got the full bar in addition on the far side there. You've got all the different style multi-use games. I love the old school ones where you just grab the handle and crank down. You can play Kino, you can play poker, all kinds of different options. Now, as we continue along, we're gonna head over to the tables. Now, the tables here are also quite diverse as well. So you've got blackjack, roulette, Texas Hold'em. You'll find that you also have craps on the far side there and Baccarat. I do love the fact that they have a diverse option in here. Now, something I wanted to point out that's very different with this casino, it's Royal's first casino where they added in ventilation from the floor. So that's something that's very unique here. It's supposed to have considerably better ventilation than they've ever had on a ship before, and I love that. Now, as we continue through, you can get a scope of how big this casino is. Now, I mentioned the bar a minute ago. You've got that full bar set up here. You've got games at the bar, so you can play right there, just like in Las Vegas. And this portion of the casino is smoke-free. So you've got the smoking portion on the far side, the smoke-free section over here. And I've found with the increased ventilation, it's significantly better for me anyways than it has been in the past. Now there's quite a bit of bar seating, in fact, more bar seating than they've ever had at a casino before. And then as you continue along, you have even more table games. Now there's a pass through here. It does connect right through to the music hall on one side. And then on the far side, you're gonna have the main dining room. Behind me is the entrance to the conference center here on board. Now Royal does an amazing job putting together groups, whether it's meetings or incentives. And at Hard Travel, we can help take care of all the details. So you can sit back, relax, and enjoy. Really, we've been doing this for over 40 years. When you're ready to put together your group, make sure you reach out, we'd love to assist. Set all the way forward on deck six, you're gonna find the Crown Lounge. Now, this is a space reserved for Royal Caribbean's highest tier past passengers. We could take advantage of a quick continental breakfast, maybe some light bites, get an espresso in there, and of course, take advantage of the Diamond Concierge to assist with reservations. You're also gonna find the escape room. Now, we're not gonna take you inside there yet. Don't wanna give away the secrets, but it's a blast. It's an absolute fun time for every member of the family. Now, the icon of the seas is truly an architectural and engineering marvel. It is sure to please millions of guests in the lifetime of the ship, and I'm sure you can see why now. Whether it's the incredible Category 6 water park just behind me, all of the amazing entertainment venues and shows, they really, really do deliver the brand new dining options and all the things that you've known and loved about Royal Caribbean for over 50 years. Now, I can't wait to get back on board with my family and when you're ready to book your next cruise with your friends, family, or group, make sure you reach out to the experts of hard travel. We know the space is inside and out. We have an incredible relationship with Royal and we know we can help craft your perfect cruise vacation of a lifetime for you, your friends, family, or group at an incredible value and get the hard travel signature service every step of the way. Cheers to the icon of the seas, and I'm out.